Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button, get that bell notification on too, so you don't miss out on an episode. Welcome back to the channel where last time we were here, we did a massive urban park. We also got a bridge across uh, that those Titan arrows, and we also got a tunnel that now connects the farming area to the downtown core pretty quickly. And in today's episode, we're gonna be building the waterfront along the downtown. Uh, in that area that's kind of blank by this uh, campus area by right downtown and maybe even a little bit in um, Port Roberts so we'll be going back to the original tile to build a little bit today and um, yeah I'm really excited to do it the waterfront's been saved for a little while um, so I just kind of want to get this uh, built so that we have a really comprehensive look at what the city's going to look like all right so here we are back in the major urban park and we have like this little pavilion area with some hotels and some events and look at this we got the beautiful skyline over here we're gonna add to the skyline today um, but uh, yeah so let's hop over to the waterfront area and let's talk about what we're gonna be doing this is gonna be the main focus of today's build building up the downtown core in that area but focusing on what the waterfront needs um, and uh, we have a few interesting challenges over on this side we have uh, our cruise ship mitosis um, occurring so uh, you know we got to make sure that we don't have like anything that sticks too far out in the water because this is like a shipping route there are some ferries that run into here as well um, yeah just tons of boat traffic and then we might uh, get to this area today too uh, we'll see um, but if we have time as well we're gonna maybe look at this little pocket here which is a port so we'll see if we decide to do that today or we save um, that for a build where maybe we add on to this port um, or this port um, but uh, yeah so mainly waterfront focused uh, with some downtown aspects but nothing uh, nothing further than uh, this road for example um, we'll just kind of fill in the blocks around the waterfront maybe like these two because you know they're so small but uh, yeah nothing too crazy out into this area today um, or into this zone so um, why are we going to be doing what we're doing today? Well, uh, I feel like the waterfront's pretty empty and it's pretty important that we get this done because, you know, we're building the city based off of the theme of British Columbia and Vancouver and, uh, and all those cities along the waterfront and, you know, there are cities that are built along the waterfront, so let's build along the waterfront. Um, but uh, first let's take a quick peek at Google Maps and take a look at where we're going to be drawing inspiration from and that is Vancouver's waterfront. And we're back in Google Earth looking at Vancouver's waterfront. Particularly, we're going to be looking at False Creek. I think this is a good representation of kind of what I want to do. So False Creek, beautiful little area in Vancouver. And uh, yeah, tons of marinas. You can kind of see that. I don't know if we can replicate that in City Skylines, but what we can do is this. Lots and lots and lots of condo towers. And uh, there's also parks and open space. And parks th that are nearby that also um, aren't necessarily on the waterfront itself uh, but uh, you know there's parks a little bit further in there's event spaces uh, and yeah just a beautiful use of the waterfront here I'm sure these areas have just incredible views as we can kind of see from some of these condo towers it would just be exceptional wouldn't it um, so let's go into first person view here and let's take a look at uh, some of these things actually over here is a good example over on this side if we just hop over to here we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna see that along the waterfront here we have like the pedestrian path but then we have a biking path and that's something I, that I want to do is have these two paths so we'll have the key wall in particular there's one key wall that looks just like this we're gonna use that one uh, and then we have this path here which is like it seems to be like a, a shared path but I'm assuming that this is also gonna be bike uh, only I think there's a sign right here yeah bikes on this side pedestrians on the other so I think that's something that we could easily replicate but also look at this glass tower yard space I think this is a, a good example of um, kind of how we're going to uh, to go about things so I'll see you back in city skylines all right so as you can see we got to get that seawall in that's gonna be really cool We'll be, to, we'll be able to connect it up from here all the way across just like we mentioned last episode we're going to connect it in to the park itself um, but not have it 
connect, uh, go along the waterfront uh, the entire way around the park. Um, but uh, yeah, I like those large towers. Um, I think that's going to be something really cool that we're going to do, but also park space. So uh, let's start over here where we're going to connect up with our park build from last episode. And let's choose uh, the right key wall, sea wall. And that is definitely this one. The simple sea wall with a fence along the side from for the uh, where the ocean is. Um, but I'm looking at some of the other ones and they just don't replicate the same kind of vibes that the Vancouver one has. Now this one kind of does the simple city one, but I think we're going to stick with the first one. I think it's just genuinely the, the right option. Um, now we did have new key walls that are that were added in the city key wall. This one is also another good option, but just looking at how large the seawall was in Vancouver, um, it just makes sense to do something uh, with this one, but then maybe add to it a little bit um, as well. So let's start here. Uh, I'm going to connect this up. I'm going to bring this road down uh, into here and then we'll connect it up into the pedestrian uh, key wall. And I think that'll be a good kind of uh, blend. So we'll just run this all the way along the waterfront and I'll talk to you in a second. All right, there we go. We have the seawall running all the way out this way. And I think we just need to curve it in a little bit more and we'll connect it up with that pedestrian road right here that we can just swing in. Now, I believe we're just gonna continue the park out into this zone. So it's gonna be really cool that we have that um, kind of connection uh, between the seawall and the city and the park. Uh, but then we have a little straight uh, line through here, which is really cool. Uh, we can get some, uh, some beautiful views of Port Roberts and the mountains uh, from here, which is awesome. We have the waterfront tram. And I just think that this is just gonna be the perfect park right along the entire length of the city doesn't mean that we're not going to get like uh some unique things in between but i think just like having this canvas here is awesome um so let's go over to here and then let's connect this up with the pedestrian road All right, so we now have this key wall connected up. Look at that, I really like this connection here. I think it's actually pretty good, um, but we can definitely add some features, but look at this. It's kind of like a good lookout point too um, for all this area. We got the, the beach over there, which probably, you know, gets water intake with uh, the tides and stuff. So we gotta watch out for that. <laughs> if we build out that, build out that way, um, particularly like if there's a heavy flow from the Oracle River or something like that too, um, so let's talk about the actual building along the waterfront, right? So, um, let's start out over here because why not? Uh, we're already out this way, but I think we could extend the roads out a little bit further in some of these cases and build, you know, those large buildings along the waterfront there. I think this is, uh, giving us some good options to place some key and unique buildings. Now, actually, you know, I connected this up and I realized there was one building that I wanted to place in over there, which I thought was um, pretty cool. So we're going to clean that up in a second. But I'm just kind of looking at buildings uh, like some of the skyscrapers, uh, particularly uh, ones like, uh, not like that one. I like this one here. Um, it just kind of says to me Vancouver. Uh, I don't know what it is about it. I don't know where it is exactly. It's in Taiwan, um, but th this kind of building I could definitely see being built in Vancouver. So that kind of thing, uh, we get some unique buildings along the waterfront. And this is kind of the, the main kind of uh, idea here. Um, so there's a few other ones like this circular one, which is like the first one in the skyscraper list. Yes, this one here. This one also seems like a really cool building that would be along the waterfront, but this is more of an office building. The, uh, the pointy one gives me more like residential condo vibes um but uh i don't know i don't know 
But um, yeah, so we are going to kind of add into this, extend some roads out. Uh, well, which road should we extend out? Uh, because I think that's a really key and important feature here. Um, so if we just grab our normal road, we'll put on our guidelines. And I think we'll just kind of do, should we do this one? Yeah, why not? All right, the next one I want to bring down is this one here. Uh, that just makes sense to me to bring this one down. It is kind of a road that goes all the way through and bridges. Um, so I want to bring this one down for sure. Even though we didn't do this one on this side, I think we have we had a, a good reason to uh, with uh, this kind of frontage road here. Um, so we'll do the same thing. All right, so I didn't mean to connect those up. I just needed them to be the exact same length. Um, and then we're not going to connect this one up either. Um, but let's get some of these key buildings in here. Um, and now that we've kind of opened up this space again, let's get this building in. Um, because, you know, this is when you're building a waterfront, you're talking about like the key, uh, you know, the, the things that everyone sees when you think about the city's skyline, right? So um, you got to make sure that they're pretty cool and unique buildings. Um, and why not actually use unique buildings? And one of those unique buildings that I want to add in is, if I remember where it is exactly, I don't exactly remember which tile or which grouping it's in. Uh, where is it? Is it in this one? Yes, the aquarium. So we were looking last time about how there was an aquarium in the Vancouver uh, version of this park. So I was like, why not? Let's do it. Let's get the same thing uh, in here. And then I also thought that it, like it's a really cool centerpiece along the waterfront. So I'm going to leave one space in between here and the road. So we get a bit more of a park uh, kind of out of it. And there's a a fallen tree right here. I don't think that the developers would have left that um, during the building process of this. So uh, we got this in place. Let's just empty it out a little bit more. Now I know we just put this in, uh, but uh, yeah. So we have concrete all the way along here. Um, there are doors. They're probably more just like emergency exit doors. This is the garage for shipping goods and stuff. So Got to make sure that we have a road connection out to that. Um, there's a bit of a slope here. I don't enjoy that too much. So let's try and make everything somewhat at the same height. So this, uh, for example, in the building itself should probably be at the same height at least. And then maybe if we just grab the building and pull it, whoops, grab the building itself, then just pull it back a little bit. Um, I don't enjoy that there's so much parking right there. I don't want to get too, too close to the waterfront here with this so we could just pull it back to about where the concrete hitbox ends so you see how there's that gap now bring it right into about there that's pretty good I don't mind that I think I moved it over further than I expected but that's okay I think we can still get this to work um, now I don't really want to move the road too much but I think I'm gonna have to in this case to about there and then we need to make sure that the a truck could for example get to here and it looks like they could because we have that concrete path connection but uh, let's just make it a bit cleaner um, by adding in an actual path all right very good so um we don't have a lot of parking options out this way but there is a tram and metro stop right here so that's pretty close right like you get off a campus station you know you're going to the um the aquarium it's not that far there's also a tram stop right here which you know, you can get to pretty easily through the paths. Um, so I don't really think we need to add extra parking, though we should probably think about adding a parking garage uh, in this area. So we, our nearest parking garage is over here, and then we have another one right here. So maybe we can think about adding that in because that is realistic in the theme of the city that we're building. So um, let's get some water along here because it looks like everything else is filled out except for that one zone. And there we go. All right. So I don't really want to take up waterfront space with parking, uh, nor do I want to add it into the park itself. Um, but we'll probably try and sneak a parking lot in here or there. Um, okay. So now that we have this building in place, there's a few things that we need to focus on. Um, one, the building uh, itself, it um, probably needs a bit of detailing around it, right? It's pretty boring on this side. It's just kind of like a giant silver or sorry it's silver glass and steel uh building so let's try and make it 
a bit more elegant in a way. So we have this one uh, kind of park, uh, or sorry, one kind of uh, path right here. I think maybe what we could do is make this, first of all, a, a junction or a little node here so we can have some, um, some crossing. So we have a node right there. Let's just grab it, move it, and then just swing it over. All right, so we do have this space available now uh, to kind of detail up a little bit more. So let's try and maybe think about adding in um, a little park or something like that. All right, so I think this uh, here would be a good idea to add in. But that means we should probably change this path here to a concrete path. Um, and yeah, I think that would probably be a good idea to kind of get that continuation um, of everything together. But uh, we'll have the entry point connection be right here onto the park. Uh, and then we'll just kind of swing it out through here. Uh, relatively the same path uh, that we had before. And we'll just connect it up just like that. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so I think that adds just a lot right there onto itself. So having that kind of um, water feature right behind it too is pretty cool. Um, wow, it is popular. Okay, so we definitely need to focus on parking. Um, but we've come to the point where I can't avoid it any further. Um, we need to get uh, some thing happening here. And what is going to happen along there? Well, I think we need a dedicated bike path all the way along the side of this entire um, uh, walking area here on this key. All right, so we're going to choose the bike path that I got from the workshop that has uh, trees along the and lights <laughs> along the side of it, because I think if we line it up properly, which I think we can do if we use the network multi tool, one of the best mods in the entire game. Uh, and if we just kind of run it along to about here first, let's just go right to about here, click tab, get it on the other side, click minus and plus to move it along. And I just want it to not be like right up against it. I want it to be just like about there so we have the trees have their little space between um the key and the path we'll click it in and ooh, the trees don't look too good but that's probably just because of uh, where they are along the waterfront um but uh, yeah i'm sure they'll look better in a little bit uh, but yeah that's perfect so we have a few gaps uh here where it connects up i think that's great unfortunately it's right where the trees are uh in a lot of these cases but that's okay um and as a result uh we get like this connection here which we can just drag down a little bit further so that it looks a little cleaner. Yeah, look at that. And then we can just continue this right along as well. Okay, fantastic. That looks great. Um, and uh, yeah, now this kind of does uh, this for us. It details it up kind of for us. We should probably get a couple of connections here. So we do have this one path that connects up, for example. We should probably just connect this up here and a little bit further if we can just like that now if you do hear something crazy in the background it is my little dog kevin going just just crazy as per usual uh <laughs> he's a very funny boy um but uh yeah so just kind of adding some of these trees in here um really just kind of helps to detail it all up uh and yeah look at this fantastic maybe a couple more right along in here Again, I don't want parking right along the waterfront, even though that's probably the best spot for parking for this. Um, so yeah, I think maybe we can think about maybe just deleting this one right here, for example, maybe getting parking right in there. And then maybe we can look at uh, getting a few other of these skyscrapers. I think that one's fine to delete. We could run a path from this node down instead. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. But let's think about some of these parking garage options that we have because it would be good to get a parking garage down by the waterfront. Um, I don't know if it's in this section. I forget where I have my parking garages. It might be in the roads.
Okay, fantastic. We have a parking garage right here, right close to a transit stop too, which is uh, probably convenient. Um, oh, I should probably detail that up, but it looks like we have like a parking garage entrance here. It looks like these cars are turning in here to walk through here, or maybe they're actually just using it to park. Theoretically, <laughs> speaking at least. Um, yeah, okay, that's really cool. Um, all right, so now we can talk more about uh, building up this area with some unique buildings. Um, so we were talking about the skyscraper. Um, that is definitely something I want to add in. Just double checking that I didn't forget one that I wanted to use in here. Nope. Okay, so it is the skyscraper one. Should we use this one here in this zone? Or should we use uh, a, that in a different spot? I think it's got to be either here, here, or here. Um, so I think bringing the height as close to the downtown as possible is probably the right option. So I'm thinking we're probably due to get it um, in one of these spots. It's too big to fit there, so I think it's got to fit right here then. Very, very good. Very cool looking building. And then we're looking at the bottom here. There's no like parking garage or anything like that. That's probably fine. Um, seeing as this kind of a building would probably have um, uh, parking garage somewhere on it though but uh, maybe people who live here don't have to have cars because the transit is so good right <laughs> and I guess there's a parking garage right here maybe there's uh, an association between the the two so anyways we have that there and following the kind of metrics that we're looking at uh, we can't really put too many things around these buildings they're supposed to be very standalone with like a park around them All right, so I didn't realize this wasn't in the district here. Um, and the district of Northminster City needs to have the Green Cities DLC on it. Now this one in particular, in particular, I guess, doesn't because seeing as we have this little teeny district here, and then this one, Oldport, Oldport has that. So maybe we have a separate little district here. I don't know, I think Bedford Bay, because we have the Bedford Environmental Center over here, and then we have this little bay here. Uh, maybe that kind of works. I like the alliteration of it. Um, so, uh, yeah, all right. Um, so I was thinking maybe we might as well just change uh, all these roads to um, uh, be have, to have parking. Actually, sorry, this one needs to be biking. Oh my goodness, of course, it needs to be biking, because uh, we have the bike connection down here. That reminds me, should we actually add in a bike connection through here? We have, is this tram? Yes, it's just tram, okay. So why don't we actually upgrade this whole road here to be bikes? So then we have that bike connection uh, right into here, and that's pretty good. And then we could even just add this right in through the middle of this entire city here. Fantastic, okay. So we have a really strong bike network through here now too, uh, which is great to see. Uh, anyway, so on Bedford Bay, we need to change up the themes here and we need to add in this so that we don't have any older style buildings. We're looking for new modern condos that are being built up uh, through this area. Um, so we have those few little things here. I think we could get a path right down in there. I'll leave this open for green space. And then over on this side, hmm, I don't know, maybe, I'm guessing like offices could be good out in this little pocket here. And actually there were a few buildings that I was thinking would be really, really cool to have along the waterfront. And those are the pedestrian and promenades buildings. Where are they? All right, okay, here they are. Um, the pedestrian and promenades landmarks would be really cool out this way. So this one is the residential landmark. That's not too big. This one is the commercial zone landmark. So if we plop it here, Kind of a waste for uh, a waterfront build but we could definitely get this um somewhere else oh actually this is actually a pretty good spot right here for it or something like that oh it's a bit too big okay uh, and then we have the sunken plaza shopping mall uh, oh that's really big though i guess that's not gonna work <laughs> i thought these were gonna work out great the post or uh, the modern uh museum of postmodern art okay yeah this one is the kind of building that could easily be uh, place down here. We already have uh, people coming out this way um, to check it out the aquarium. So we could have the art museum out this way too. 
Um, very, very cool. So if we're gonna have this, I think we need to have the uh, office zone wall to wall out this way too. Um, or maybe we should do commercial wall to wall. Yeah, we'll do commercial wall to wall. And then offices, we'll put in the IT cluster because I don't really plan on getting too much anyways out this way. Um, so that means that we could have a high density commercial right beside this. Does this wall need to be shown? I guess in a way it could, we could have a bit of space here and then we could have some cool buildings out, like to about here maybe. We'll see what pops up. Um, and then maybe let's think about getting one office uh, building out over on this side. Maybe let's turn zoning off of here. Alright, so just a few things to check. Um, I'm going to check the land value out this way. Okay, so we do have a ton of land value because I'm worried about these five-star condos that we're placing in here if they're going to um, be able to survive. Uh, so why don't we think about adding in a few other um, unique buildings and plazas. All right, so I'm gonna add in another one of these skyscrapers here. Um, I'm thinking right in this little pocket here could be a good spot for this building here. Um, seems like it's a, like an older 1970s style kind of building. So I think that having this um, connection here between uh, different eras of the skyscrapers is a good idea to do. Let's look at how it's playing out in the corner here. It's a bit close, so let's grab it over and pull it just a little bit further. Not that much more though, because I don't want to have to add concrete though. Um, okay, I think that's probably pretty good. Um, and then let's think about continuing that kind of skyscraper look. There's a few, there's so many skyscrapers, first of all. Uh, but then there's this one here, the Island Park Tower, um, which I was thinking would play really well right here, was it? Yes, right there. It also has a helicopter landing pad, that's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't know there was trees on it, darn. Okay, very good. I like that skyscraper. And as you notice, I'm not using the larger versions of the two skyscrapers. I'm particularly looking at uh, the smaller version of the two. So, you know, we can get these massive ones. Yeah, that's not going to work for the height of, uh, of the city that I'm looking for. So this uh, kind of height works, which is why I'm really happy that they decided to do this. Where they have uh, the huge ones for people who want to use that, but they also have the smaller version of it as well. So there's this tower here, which came with the Africa DLC, which is really cool. It has a parking garage underneath it. And I was thinking that we could definitely fit this in at a cool little spot. And you know what? It fits pretty well right here. Why don't we try and get this in right here? I think that's pretty cool. It's got almost like a, I know we just put a parking garage in, but it's almost got like a, um, like a super modern feel, which plays really cool with the, the university. Um, I was thinking, should it go there? Could it actually go here instead? But I like that it actually fits just perfectly in this in this zone. And if we pop it like that, uh, so you, you see how the building leans towards the left. We have like the tower part of it is actually on the left side of the building and it extends up out with the parking garage on the right. I think that's going to play out really well. So we click that in, which uh, it's not too crazy of a um, an investment. Yeah, look at that. That's really cool. All right. I was hoping these buildings would be a little bit larger. Um, but uh, let's see, Northminster City doesn't have a specialization um, for commercial. Uh, let's see if we can find a couple better buildings. All 
All right, so we're gonna save the detailing for the end uh, like usual. But look at this, this is really cool. We're getting some really unique groupings of buildings together. We have the, the beautiful classic condos that we have, but we also have uh, like this uh, tower, which really stands out on the skyline. We're also filling it out with more classic glass and steel skyscrapers too. Um, so I think from a distance, this looks really cool. This is what really matters when you're building a skyline. How does the skyline actually look from a distance, right? So as we kind of go along here, we have the key features, the colors, the, the things that pop in the skyline, but also we have the consistent um, elevation height, right? So if we're looking at it from a distance. We have the central financial district that has the, the peaks, but we also have other peaks elsewhere, but none of them that surpass uh, this one in particular, which was the idea when we placed it in um, like a month ago. My goodness. Um, bit of a traffic jam over here. Holy moly. Uh, that's interesting. Looks like a car is stuck. Looks like this bus is stuck. Yeah, there we go. And then this is also stuck then. All right. So look at this. We're getting along through here. We're working on the waterfront. And uh, what do we need now? Well, we have this little plaza here, which came with the financial districts DLC, which is really cool. I think like this is the kind of place where you go on your lunch break or something like that. You know, you, you grab your lunch, you sit here, you're elevated above the road, but you can see the beautiful Port Roberts skyline. Um, that is awesome. Uh, that's the kind of thing that I was looking for. So I think we can continue the theme of the plazas down over to here. So we already have a plaza over there. Hmm. This isn't exactly going to be the best waterfront uh, to have it like a seat on because we're gonna have the bike paths through it. Um, but uh, what the heck? There's so many hearsts. That's not a good sign. Uh, ah, they're trying to get to over here, which seems like there's some sort of glitch where there's traffic just stuck. All right, well, we're just gonna ignore it for now and I'll do uh, a fix after. Um, but Let's continue kind of the idea here. So we have the plaza over there. Maybe let's think about getting a plaza over here um, that we could have like a cool spot to sit and eat lunch at. Um, so let's give this a good little look through. All right, so I really like this building here. I think this is a cool uh, play on a plaza uh, from the Africa DLC. Um, yeah, this is really cool. I could definitely see people eating their lunch here, right? Like there's lots of cool little spots. It's a monument of some sort. Uh, that is not it. It is this. Nope. Where is it? It is the Sahil monument. Well, there we go. Um, but that means we need to have towers around it and we don't have really have that much office demand, which is why I was kind of sticking towards the residential aspects of it today. Now we did add in the skyscrapers. I'm not sure if that eats into the office demand, but I'm thinking that that would be really, really cool uh, to have nearby. But let's get some big um, residential buildings around here. Now, we've been adding lots of this, uh, these residential towers in here, but we haven't really been checking up on the services. It's really important that when you're doing a downtown build that you also remember about the services. Uh, so let's take a quick peek through here. Now we do have some good healthcare through here. We have a bit of a gray pocket right here which is fine. Um, we're going to be adding in a massive hospital anyways. Um, but when it comes to death care, I would imagine that we're not doing too good. Okay, we're doing okay, at least. Um, but uh, yeah, all right. Um, and child care and elder care are going to be a little bit tricky to space in here. They're just too big of buildings to, to really kind of fit. Um, but we could add in like a sauna somewhere. We could squeeze it in uh, somewhere and hide it. Um, because it is a cool building. Maybe it's a historical building kind of thing, right? Uh, it could fit in like right here, actually. That's actually great. It's a really awkward spot right behind the the pl uh, the um, station there. So that could actually fit uh, pretty well. But actually, we're putting the hockey arena out over there. So I don't think it's going to exactly work. Uh, let's move it um, to right here. Why not? We need it somewhere. Why not there? And then we'll just kind of build up around it really quickly as well, just to kind of um, hide it a little bit better. So we'll place some residential towers right here. We do have so much residential demand. 
Um, so I think if we just do that, that should really work. Um, okay, so uh, we went through uh, healthcare. Let's look at fire now. Um, because, yeah, fire. Oh, wow. We definitely need to add uh, to this. Now we do have the high capacity fire station, uh, which could be pretty cool. Maybe we kind of focus uh, adding in some things out over here. Now this one's probably a bit too much for what we need it to be. Um, like uh, size wise, this one fits perfectly right here, actually, though. Um, and it's on the main road. Should it be in the main road with the bike lane and the tram? Uh, or should it be right here? Maybe right here. Let's plop it right here. I think that's a better option for it. Um, so there we go. We got the fire department. We don't really need uh, any more than downtown, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that covered it pretty, pretty good. Um, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, this is part of the issue here, right? There's something happening along these streets. It's ever since we changed them to bike lanes. Okay, so we're going to need to take change them back from bike lanes then. All right, well, we're getting some kind of glitch uh, today. That's interesting. Let's focus on the waterfront itself, though. Uh, all right. Uh, where were we? We were looking at fire. We need to look at police now. We should probably be good with police. Um, yeah, we're, that's pretty good um, for police. We could obviously add in another station, but I think we could get away with a small station somewhere. Uh, kind of just hide it somewhere, perhaps right there. All right, so we're moving down the waterfront here, um, and things aren't looking good in the city. Not sure what's happening. Uh, even when I was upgrading these roads, like things seem to be a little bit glitchy. So if something's happening with the game, I'll definitely sort it out afterwards uh, because we need to continue building out this way. Look at the skyline, it's coming along pretty good. We we'll keep placing some buildings down. It's really filling out. But one thing's always missing from these skylines, and I think it is the tower. You gotta have this. And I think that it would be really cool to place down right in here. I was thinking maybe this side though. Um, yeah, I think this side's a bit better for it. Uh, but uh, yeah, maybe right along the waterfront actually though. I think that'd be pretty cool. Definitely adds to the waterfront kind of vibes. Yeah, let's do it right on the waterfront. Uh, I love these towers. They look, it looks so awesome. Um, so I think we should plop it down right there, right beside the vertical farm, which I added into, which I think just looks like a really cool condo. Kind of adds to like the circular things. Maybe we could even just throw it on this side instead. Um, and yeah, I kind of like the two circular buildings right beside each other. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the, the observation tower, you know, you can get some pretty great views from here, as you can see, right? So look at that. Look at all the cruise ship mitosis. Uh, we can see all the way out to the stadiums from here. We can see all the way out to the beautiful city of Hope. We see the bridges. We see right down into the train tracks. Um, and we get to see everything in the city because we're above the city, right? So I think that is uh, really, really cool. Now, we're almost uh, through the episode here before we get talking about the actual waterfront again. Uh, and there is a few spaces here and genuinely I just think that we should throw people into this uh, area I just really fill it up with citizens moving around once I figure out what's happening here with the, the slow traffic and whatnot um, Very strange, uh, but I don't want to just totally block zone. Uh, maybe we should break that up right there But I think beyond that I think the skyline is pretty full for the downtown core of it, right? Um, and I think we took the themes that we wanted to, uh, having these kind of uh, buildings with lots of land um, and plazas along the waterfront here with a seawall through here and whatnot. Um, but let's get that bike lane in, like we talked about before. 
So let's go into the bike lane and we will uh, grab it right here all the way at the end, this one, and then we'll just uh, go from about here. All right, so here we go. We have the beautiful skyline now. Look at this, that is awesome. Looking at it from Port Roberts here, which probably should, could use a little bit of a, an, a height audit here because I think some of these buildings have been able to sneak in be, uh, where I didn't catch them zoning up because they shouldn't be this tall over in Port Roberts, but that's okay because look at the skyline of North Minster. Uh, fantastic. Yeah, this is great really really enjoying this and we'll work on uh this part of the of the waterfront when we build up the ports here which is definitely coming up sooner rather than later and i love how we have the aquarium out over here too that is really really cool um so when we're talking about waterfront why don't we add in some actual aspects to go over top of the water right um so when we're talking about that we're looking at uh stuff like uh, like this where is it the restaurant pier, for example, or that's the fishing pier. Uh, the restaurant pier, we also have the marinas and stuff like that. So why don't we try and get in some of these? All right, so we have some piers along the waterfront. Uh, it might be a little too many, but I think it's it's okay. Looking at it from like the sky here, it looks pretty good. There's a ton of marinas and stuff in Vancouver, so I think we are fine to do this. But yeah, holy cow, we're getting through this pretty uh, pretty quick here. Uh, next thing we need to do is just detail up the waterfront here, and then we're gonna call it a day. So let's start right over here with uh, look at all this green space. We'll try and make sure that we play uh, with uh, the buildings a little bit, make sure that everything is going okay. That like we have dumpsters right here. So maybe we can draw in like a thicker path for those dumpsters. Um, and then, uh, yeah, look at this. We've got some green space over here. Don't want to overdo it though um, with concrete or anything like that, or just the same tree over and over again. So we got to make sure that we do everything right. Now there are cars on these things. Uh, you can't really stop that from happening. So uh, maybe with the BOB mod, let's, uh, let's, give it a try with the BUB mod and then we'll come back to it uh, if, uh, if we can't. Invisible parking space, uh, let's remove them. Okay, now that we've done that, it is time to start detailing up uh, right where we mentioned before.
All right, here we are. We have the waterfront. We have this the skyline of the downtown built up, and I think it's really cool. Each kind of little pocket has a unique little factor to it. Whether or not we have the two circular buildings here, we have the uh, observation tower. We just have some condos, some beautiful condos. Um, a bit of a lower area over here with some, so maybe their newer developments. We have the elevated plaza. We have another plaza over here. We have the large uh, condos with uh, their yards. Um, we have parking, and I think this was a really fun build. Definitely lots of unique skyscrapers to the skyline, so that when we're looking at it from a distance, we can kind of tell, like, wow, this is a complex skyline, right? It's not just all the same. It's a bit different every time. And I hope you enjoyed the episode, folks. I will talk to you next time. Have a good day. Peace out.